talk about what's actually wrong with the Democratic Party. Uh, because I'm sure there's a lot of a lot of you know Democrats that are going to look at this and go, well, what the fuck, Chris? How dare you go against this party that is championed for civil rights and that is championed for 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 working class rights? How dare you, you son of a bitch, you dirty bastard, right? Because they'll love attacking anybody that doesn't agree with their party. So. I, I do agree with Nick when, when he makes when he talks about this because if you pay attention to the way history has moved forward, um, you know it, the evidence is right there. There's been a constant pattern of deception um, against the working class people, right? Um, it, it, the Democrats will come out and say that they are a party for the working class people, that they do believe that you know we are the future of America and we need to be propped up and we need to be taken care of and we are the ones that really make the change and and that's just not true because uh, both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are corporate parties ruled by Wall Street and they all have lobbyists and some of these lobbyists are in the higher ranks of the um, corporations that control the elections the DNC and the RNC uh, particularly the DNC they have lobbyists in the higher ranks of the DNC, like they sit on, the, so they make the decisions, right? So we are actually not involved in making any sort of legislation. When was the last time Nancy Pelosi asked you whether you were okay with the fucking legislative decision she was going to make? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't remember getting a call. I don't getting uh, remember getting a call uh, from any governor about any decisions that they make in the state of Pennsylvania. I don't remember getting a call when my state representatives decide to vote for a corporate bailout bill over providing a, you know, a emergency UBI for the American people. Don't remember. Do you, do you guys remember getting a call? Do you guys remember when your representatives gave you a call and was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about voting for a huge corporate bailout. Uh, it'll give about four point three trillion dollars, and then uh, the idea is that it's going to trickle down. I would, I, I bet you, mo more, more people than not would have come out and been like, "That's a fucking terrible idea." When the fuck is that work? Why are you doing this? Well, I voted for you, thinking that you wouldn't do this to me, and that's exactly what you're. Why are you doing this? What the fuck? I don't remember getting that call. What they do is that they take these committees of corporations, these lobbyists and the, the people that. Uh, you know, really make the bills and really make the legislation in this country. They go into back rooms. They go into closed door meetings with with a weird, you know, maybe a blood orgy that happens. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the the protocol of making legislation in America is. I'm sure. I know there was like an animated movie that kind of showed you how a bill becomes a law and through the votes and all, you know, all that. Stuff. But I'm, I'm sure that was an animation for kids. Okay, how are you going to animate? a blood orgy and make it okay to show in schools. You can't do that. So you got to come up with something different, you know? So it's like, oh, let's make a, you know, a talking piece of paper. That, that, that'll get the kids. That'll get the kids. You know, I'm sure they have some kind of altar uh, the, uh, and uh, uh, robes. Um, uh, all, all good, all good uh, closed door organization have robes. Um, you know, because when you when you get caught, when you know that's the best way to, um, uh, it's loose, it's billowy, it's airy. You know, so so environmentally speaking, these rooms get very hot, very hot. Um, what you know, because what you, what you have to um, account for uh, is uh, it, not only is there a person here, but but also a a a a, a representation of their corruption. Uh, and once you, I mean, that's double population in a room, you know, so if it's Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, Mike Pompeo, all hanging out in a room, they also have a, a, a physical manifestation of their corruption. So you got to wear robes. This is going to make it airier. Um, and you know, sulfur is involved as well. Uh, so, uh, the temperature is going to go up. So you want something loose. You want something billowy, something nice. Uh, and then you make the legislation. Um, and, uh, you know, you, 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 you sacrifice a virgin, uh, as you do everybody that's very key, very key. And then, uh, and then that's how, and then they make the legislation happen, you know? So, um, 
<laughs> that's how that happens. So you have you have these this this duopoly that is essentially um, it's not a duopoly actually it's just one party masquerading as two it's represented by the same thing uh, the Republicans in this country have been pushing more and more to the corporate right and instead of and if the Democrats were truly about working class people if they were truly about supporting the working class people. Um, they would push back against that, and they would run with a little bit more of a populist ideology. Uh, but they don't. They uh, they validate that corporate right. They they solidify it. They put it in place. They make they make sure that uh, it is going to be harder for us to fight back uh, in in creating something um, in 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 transforming something from within and creating a better party from within. Um, and you can see that with with, you know, just in the last two Democrats that have been in office with Clinton and Obama, you know, you had the you had NAFTA, which was a horrible deal for the working class. You had TPP, which is a horrible deal for the working class. Uh, you had you had an increase in wars, uh, which is also a horrible deal for the working class, because uh, the, the working class are the ones that are used as cannon fodder for these wars for the rich. What do, what do people get out of these wars? Uh, nothing. You know, they're like, oh, but the gas prices will go. The, the fuck they will. When the fuck do the gas prices go down? Because we were in a war. That's never fucking happened. You're, that's crazy to believe that that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, and Obama did it and, and, and Clinton did it. People forget Clinton was in Africa. Somalia was, was Clinton. Uh, Eastern Europe was also under Clinton. Uh, what else? You, you had the Bush tax cuts that were essentially solidified by uh, Obama for corporations. Um, expanded the bank controls. Uh, you know, Obama bailed out the banks. Glass Steagall was um, revoked under Clinton. Uh, the banks are now freer to do whatever the fuck they want to. Fuck over as many people as they want to. And um, and and basically, w uh, when that happens, uh, the Democrats. Look at the banks, and they go, "Hey, you got pay, you silly gooses, huh? With your, with your, with your exploitations, huh? Come on, come on. We talked about this, okay? We come on. We talked about this. Don't you gotta, you gotta stop being a silly exploiting goose, okay? Now here's here's an extra trillion, and uh, and you spend it wisely, all right? Don't don't spend it all in in one place with your tax with your stock buybacks." Okay, you, you oh, guys are gooses, silliest of all the gooses, these guys. They control uh, the narrative of the Telecommunication Act. That was Clinton. That that you know, uh, we're we're looking at the, the the net neutrality being in danger because of because of that. So that's all Democrats. So as much as Republicans um, actively go after the civil rights and push it to the corporate right. The Democrats don't do anything to push back against it. They kind of just toe the line and, um, you know, they kind of keep things where they are. They, they support those bills. They solidify them. So it's, and then, you know, they make a public speech about, well, these, you gotta, the internet should be open and free. You know, we got to take care of the working class people. We got to do these tax, you buying it? You guys buying it yet? You know, does does my furrowed brow show that I care about people as I'm cashing the check from the corporations? You guys, does this does this show sympathy? Is this human sympathy? That's basically how the Democrats act. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Share this out with some friends, with some enemies, anybody that you might think would enjoy content like this. And make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Uh, during this quarantine, I'm going to be putting out videos uh, pretty much every single day surrounding ideas like the one you just heard. Uh, so if you enjoyed this and want more, uh, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would also tell you guys about some live stand-up comedy dates, but at the moment, 
I, uh, I don't have any. As a touring comedian, I am uh, unfortunately grounded and uh, have to stay put till, till this whole calamity ends. Uh, so hopefully uh, in, in the next few months, I'll, be, I'll, I'll have some stand-up dates for you guys. Uh, and I am working on a Zoom stand-up comedy show, and I will give details to that uh, as, uh, as details to that come out. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy these videos, and if you have the ability to donate, if you can make a donation, uh, you can become a sustaining member or make a one-time donation over at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. Uh, that's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. Any little bit uh, will help, but I understand that everybody's going through a pretty difficult time right now. So donating or making any sort of financial contribution is not necessary. All my content is going to be up 100% uh, for free for everybody to enjoy, uh, regardless of your financial situation. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys will come back and check out more videos. Till then, we'll see you on the road.